Good morning, and welcome to our continuing series on homeopathy with our beloved Dr. Pachika. Today we have uh, interesting subjects. Uh, the appendix uh, is often called a vestigial remnant. Is it indeed that, or does it have a function still? Indeed, it doesn't have function. Ah. Maybe it had some function in a rudimentary manner before, like human being is fully evolved. But it's a rudimentary organ. Mm -hmm. In animals, like they have one extra stomach where they ruminate. They eat and then they ruminate by mm -hmm. taking it out yes. and again, well, that function is not there in human beings. So it's a rudimentary organ which is not functional. And uh, very often it gets infected with peritonitis. Yes. Mainly what happens, the appendix is at the location of where the small intestines and large intestines unite. So it is at the very junction of the small intestine and mm -hmm. large intestine and very often what happens, if the fluid is collected in appendix and if it is stagnated, then it gets infected or inflamed. And when it is too much inflamed, sometimes pus is formed and it may burst open to give rise to what we call peritonitis. I had it. So it can be a fatal situation if it, it is not it taken was. care of. Uh, it broke open on the operating table. Yes. Mainly the people uh. who tend to eat in hurry. They, they don't eat slowly or at a proper time or even while walking or standing or while working they eat. They are more prone for this. Mm. Whereas you eat something which is like lot of fiber containing vegetables and if intestines, these things can't negotiate through small intestine to the large intestine, sometimes the appendix gets filled up with this and inflamed. But the funniest part is I have seen so many people where they do get appendicitis. And it can be conservatively managed. The, the infection can be controlled, uh, the inflammation also reverses and in future the person doesn't get the episodes of uh, appendicitis. We have wonderful remedies for this. Like in acute appendicitis, we have a remedy called belladonna. Yes. Then pyroginum is a nosode prepared from infected material. And it really helps and the chronic tendency also is removed by calcarea carb like remedies. Mainly the pathophysiology is that, see, all our intestinal contents are advancing further during the process of digestion as well as the absorption of digested things. During the course, the peristaltic movements, if they are not synchronized properly, then the appendix gets affected. It gets congested and then it gets inflamed. And if this inflammation is not resolved properly, what we call healing by resolution, then the appendix bursts open and then it gives rise to peritonitis. We have seen some cases where the appendicitis got, did get burst. The appendix did get burst with a lot of pus material in it, but somehow the person did not develop peritonitis. Mm. Because as an emergency, we have a greater momentum in, in our um, uh, abdomen, which seals that perforation, at least for a while, till, till everything is resolved. And person may not develop peritonitis always with burst open appendix. But definitely it's a very much dangerous, uh, grave situation if it develops peritonitis. But otherwise the acute appendicitis, it, it's very characteristic. The appendix pain, it comes an acute paroxysmal pain. Mm. One gets, one would have fever with it, vomiting with it and sometimes even uh, tenesmus for stools. But with this, the typical is the 
abdominal pain is vague all over initially but then it settles into right uh, iliac fossa and fever again is one of the indicator with acute abdominal pain and wherever you press in abdomen during poor abdominal examination the tenderness refers to right iliac fossa and therefore if it is diagnosed well managed well conservatively and you can treat the tendency to get recurrent appendicitis earlier before 50 years it was almost like a i would call it fashion or maybe the medical fraternity itself was paranoid about it and they used to operate little bit of pain in abdomen they used to operate appendix and not only that we have seen cases where the renal colic by chance if the person has a renal colic which simulates with appendicitis pain and then the surgeons have operated appendix removed it and then realized that it was not appendix which was causing pain after oh. removing but it was a renal calculus so it's very interesting but what we advise is the person with tendency to have chronic appendicitis we advise the person to eat slowly chew properly drink lot of water before food sit and eat don't eat in hurry and if you are eating odd time you eat very little and very slowly so this thing if we care mm. and homeopathic remedies are there which can re- remove the tendency of getting recurrent appendicitis is there any evidence at all that the appendix is disappearing from human bodies no it remains we it can remains. just vulnerability we can cure okay it's vulnerability we can cure but we we just can't remove appendix by medicines thank you